I mention A2 hosting a lot in my videos and it's on a lot of my best lists and with good reason. But actually as with any web hosting provider, there are some downsides and hidden hooks that you need to be aware of when you buy A2 hosting. So I've made a list of the top 5 things that I personally think are the most important to consider when buying A2 hosting. Let's get started. Almost two years ago, some people who used A2 Hosting had their websites down for almost a month because of an issue A2 Hosting had with ransomware. Based on unofficial reports, some ransomware found its way into the A2 Hosting Singapore data center. From there, it infected other Windows Server instances. To prevent any further damage, A2 Hosting just shut down the remaining servers, leaving everyone who was hosting on them without a working website. Some servers took months to recover. So eventually A2 Hosting was able to recover and continue to provide stable service to their customers. And while I'm not defending them, I don't want to immediately throw them under the bus as well. This actually happens more often than you would think. And most web hosting companies go to something similar like that throughout their lifetime. But it wouldn't be fair on my part to simply call out A2 Hosting for being hacked, because other web hosting companies got hacked in the past as well. For example, Hostinger was hacked in the past, Bluehost and Hostgator had critical account takeover vulnerabilities, and Dreamhost had an exploit where people could change the password and email of other people accounts. You're never 100% safe, and I never recommend fully trusting a web hosting company. That's why I always say get automated website backups, so if some something like this happens, you can take your backups and just move to another web hosting provider without having to wait for weeks or months for them to get their shit together. I actually have a tutorial on how you can get automated website backups completely free that you can find right here. Absolutely any feature that web hosting providers offer is absolutely worthless if your website is offline. Since I've been using A2 Hosting for over a year now, and I've been tracking their performance non-stop, here's the deal. Since 2019 November till 2020 September, my A2 Hosting website was offline for just 2 hours, <laughs> resulting in a 99.97% uptime. Most of this downtime actually happened during the quarantine months, where a lot of people were either moving their existing businesses online or starting completely new businesses online. And web hosting providers that were less than prepared actually got overwhelmed. At the moment though, it seems that the service has completely stabilized and everything's running buttery smooth. If you're the type of person that loves to keep up to date with the latest and best technology, you're going to love A2 Hosting. With Turbo Boost $9.99 a month and Turbo Max $14.99 a month, your website gets hosted on the newest AMD Epic NVMe servers, kind of meaning your site will be running on the creme de la creme of hosting technology. And the A2 Hosting shared web hosting plans are priced quite fairly for the features and performance you're getting. They're somewhere in the middle when it comes to pricing. Not quite a cheap provider, but not crazy expensive as well. And keep in mind that using the links in the description, you'll be able to get a plan with A2 Hosting with a significant discount. Using the links down below, you can get up to 66% off your plans. As always, my dudes, I want to mention that this is an affiliate link. This means I'll make a cut if you buy anything through the link, and this simply helps me make content full-time, and it's really appreciated if you use the links. Thank you for the support. The more expensive plans like Turbo or Turbo Max actually use the newest technology. A2 Hosting is using HTTP version 3, which really became a thing only in October of 2020. Yeah, it's that new. Also, they take advantage of Lightspeed servers together with the newest PHP versions, and of course, server-side caching, so you'll always have the best performance, at least when it comes to shared web hosting. As a bonus, all A2 hosting servers are running on SSD rather than old HDD storage devices. All of these optimizations are in place to make your website as fast as possible, and A2 hosting often shatters other shared web hosting companies in terms of loading speed. A2 hosting consistently demonstrates the fastest loading speeds in the web hosting industry, when it comes to shared web hosting, I actually have a full A2 hosting review where I did extensive tests and research that you can find right here. 
but in general here's what you can expect in terms of performance. While using A2 Hosting Turbo Plan, my standard empty WordPress website fully loaded in just 0.6 seconds and a fully designed website with images loaded in just 1.8 seconds. This is probably the best shared hosting can offer, especially if we compare this to the average website loading speed of around 3 seconds. In most study cases, A2 hosting performed from 20 to 50% better than other web hosting providers. While most web hosting companies have a live chat function and they always call it support, it's not always support. For example, GoDaddy usually is more interested in calling you and selling you extra features than helping you solve your problems. However, A2 hosting, at least based on my experiences, offer fast and honest support. There's live chat, email and a ton of phone support options that are completely free. A2 hosting has call centers all across the world. I've contacted them plenty of times in the past before, but I've never been offered extra features that I didn't need to help and solve my problems. I've actually even offered myself to buy extra features, but if it didn't help solve the problem, the support agents were like, nah dog, you good, don't spend any more money. Overall, I think that A2 hosting is best for people that already know what they're doing and they're just looking for some extra raw power for their websites. They're not really a good fit for beginners because the control panel is not the easiest one to use. If you're ready to get started with A2 hosting, you can find discount links in the description down below. My name's Demet, and I'll see you in the next video.